Not everyone is lucky to have a high speed or stable internet connection. Some of us still have to go through internet woes every day where sometimes the internet stops working or speed drops drastically. These tools show the current upload and download speed of your network. Thanks to them, you can quickly know when the speed drops. In this video, we will help you monitor your internet speed on your Windows PC. Let's get started. To view internet speed on the taskbar, you will have to download a software known as NetSpeed Monitor. The first step involves downloading the tool. Hit the Download Now option. You will get two download options, x86 and x64. The first one is for 32-bit Windows systems and the second one is for 64-bit. Click on the desired option and save the file on your computer. Navigate to the folder where you downloaded the file. If you are running Windows version below Windows 8, installation should start normally. Anything above it will throw an error that the operating system isn't supported. Don't worry. It's time to tweak certain things. Right click on the setup file and go to properties. Under properties, click on the compatibility tab. Here. Check the box next to run this program in compatibility mode for. The drop-down should show previous version of Windows. Hit OK to save the changes. Now double-click the setup file to begin the installation and follow the on-screen instructions during the installation process. Once installed, you will not see the internet speed directly on your taskbar. You will have to enable the program first. For that, right-click anywhere on your taskbar and hit the toolbars option. Here select NetSpeed Monitor. Now select your network interface and click Save. As soon as you enable it, you will see the upload and download speed on the taskbar. In case the meter is stuck at zero, right-click the meter and select Configuration. In the NetSpeed Monitor window that opens, change the network interface to a different one and click OK. Hopefully, the meter should be working now. If it's still not working, Repeat the process with other interfaces to find the one that works.